Hello, Cobrats, and welcome back to Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I'm Tricolite Tamer. Maybe this here thwomp is the stone creature at Schwank Fortress. Seems we're in for something here. <laughs> You're the first contestant I've seen in a while! If you come all the way here to Schwank Fortress, you must want stone keys. And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. Same thing. <laughs> so what do you want to do? I'll take you on. <laughs> You're in for it now. Not quite what you were expecting, huh? Hey, hey, ladies and germs! Welcome, everybody, to the 65th Super Fun Quirk Quiz! Perk up those ears! If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you will win! But get three of them wrong, and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. Now, for the first question. What's hidden in this place? That would be Stone Keys. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes, indeed, because I'm correct all the time. Except I actually plan to be wrong. Stylishly wrong. Ah, that's correct. That question was too easy, but if you but it only gets harder from here, much harder. So prepare yourself. On to question two. What do one Mr. Softener and one Fire Flower cost at the shop in Puddleburg total? I do believe it's twelve coins. Is that a real answer? No, it's actually wrong. So there's one wrong. One wrong, you fools. If you get three wrong, you <laughs> his face. Don't let the pressure get to you. Moving on, question three. What is the name of the mayor of Petalburg? Bertel Couscous. Oh wow, I realize that. But his name is Croup. So, we're on three questions and I can get uh, two more, or have to get two more wrong. So yeah, I have to get two correct and three wrong because I want to suffer the bad thing, even though it's not going to be too bad for me. Question four. Tell me now, where's the crystal star? It would be at Hooktail Castle, but I'll say... Mushville, because that's totally a place we've been to. You blithering meathead, you're wrong again! Get one more wrong and something wonderfully awful happens to you. Just one more wrong. <laughs> What's that I hear? Your little knee is knocking? No, because I'm excited to be wrong. Are you ready for the diabolical question 5? How can one get from Pelomelos to Rugport? That would be go through a pipe, but we have to go through the air. Is that your real answer? Yeah, that's my real wrong answer. <laughs> wrong, 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 it's so wrong it hurts. That's three wrongs, how awful for you. So what bad thing must we suffer? Do we actually fight him now? <laughs> Time for the pain game. Nope, just spiky clefts. I'll be nice, beat these guys, and I'll let you pass. But you can't possibly do it. Best of luck, fathead. <laughs> so we got four of these things. And they do pose quite a challenge. We can use Power Smash, we can Super Guard them, but what I want to do is the Pal Block. But let's start off with the title to get them into my thing. Clef, Rock Head, Jerk, 2 HP, 2 Attack, 2 Defense. Head is major pain, Don't the stuff doesn't work on it. But let's go ahead and use our Power Block. Kablammy Kabushki. You all gone. Yeah, and I have 24 star points out of this, and that's good for a level up! Oh yeah! Hoo hoo! And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade BP again, because, yeah, as I said, there's gonna be some badges that I'd like to have at the start of the game, so I'll definitely get some BP in for that. What? It can't be! How'd you defeat my cute little clefts? Ah! Fine, whatever, you can pass, but I despise you! Hmm. And he'll never talk to us again. Now down we go. See what is waiting down here. Maybe something more than the stone keys. Yep, indeed, because there are fuzzies down here. Didn't expect these to come along. Alright, let's go ahead and get a first strike. Kabami Kablushki, even though I don't need to do all that extra stuff. Tattle. And hopefully, with my super guarding abilities plus simplifier, it'll simplify things going on. 3 HP, 1 attack power, and they suck up your HP. Just like how they are in the first game. And let's see. I will jump on you because maybe I can super guard these first two and do whatever happens to the other ones. Eh? And yeah, I didn't quite get you super guarded. It's quite a uh, weird timing, even with the simplifier. Yep, didn't quite work. <laughs> 
And then, as for this guy, I guess I might as well try because he's already at full HP. Yeah, yeah, super guard of that crap, man. You're so crappy, croopily, and, and you're terrible. Something doesn't exactly feel right. I felt like the game was too loud or something, or maybe I'm too high above my microphone. On to the next room. What is in here? Yay! It's this one, the Moonstone. Yay, now I can get a Clefable, but it would only have been normal type in 2004. And yeah, I know, right at the start, here's multi-bounce. I could have used it, and I'll actually equip it because it's helpful, you know, and plus I have a lot of badge points right now to make up for all the badges that I can be getting. Alright, pass you, I don't feel like fighting you because you're annoying and you are too. And into this room is the Sunstone. I can get a Sunflora. Ha 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 ha. You're not gonna do that to me, game. Alright, back to the main room. Whoa, here's a golden one. Meork! Hey, you suspicious types, this is our place, and coming here is rude, rude, rude. Sorry, suckers, if you want a warm welcome, too bad. Now I'll launch on your head. Uh, why is your voice so monotonically high-pitched, gold fuzzy abducery? Yeah, let's look at you, and you actually are a gold fuzzy, and not a jungle fuzzy. 10 HP, 1 attack power, they don't suck in HP, and he only has 1 attack power, so that's not to worry. So I guess I'll just take him down. Come on, what you got? Ah, uh, and I super guarded you, because I'm good. I'm so good. Me oof! Hey, Owl, he jumps are tougher than you look. But it's not through yet. Everyone, get him! And here they come. The audience doesn't really seem to be too shaken by it. <laughs> oh well, and Mario was, wasn't even too scared. Yeah, we got the fuzzy horde right here, and you don't even need to tattle it. I might as well take it down. Uh, I guess the, the more there are, the more that will hurt you. I guess I'll just like slowly bring it down, just to bring it down. It does give you ESP, and I don't know if, like, they go away when you defeat the gold fuzzy. Don't even bother super guarding, because you can't take down piece by piece. They go away before they even take the required amount of damage. Hooray! And I might as well finish you off with boing, boing, boing. Hurrah! Except that I didn't finish you off, but you shall be super guarded, ha! Huh? You are a loser. 20 star points, that's absolutely great. Yeah, you got me. Yeah, get out of here, you don't belong. Go off into the background, live to die another day, or something like that. Alright, we got the stone key, so let's go. Um, excuse me. It, it's Mario, right? Look, I, um, see, the thing is, I've been waiting here in the hope of getting to speak with you. I have to ask you something, and you can say no, but I'm going to throw it out there. Um, see, I was wondering, would you- Oh, please take me with you to Fire Hotel, please, I'm begging you! Sorry about that, see, my dad, he went off to the Battle Hotel long ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of course, I miss him badly, but this isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is a part of it, I guess, a big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what dad started, for his sake, for everyone's sake. I, man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby, a weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong, like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario. Sure, you can come along. For real? No kidding. Yes, thank you so much. You won't regret this. Koops has joined your party. Oh yeah. Koops is a cool dude. Just look at his hoodie. Koops' ability is a primer. Press X to shoot out the shell, use it to retrieve distant items and hit switches. So he's just like Cooper in that regard. You can shoot him out, collect things for you. Also, if you hold X, he can actually hold his position. While you can do it and release things and you can multitask, which is going to become useful. And it's showing it again, you have to move out of the way, yeah. Well, you don't have to move out of the way, but you can move around and stuff. Hold the place and you can get things done. Power shell and shell toss, just like Koopa. Just a little bit different of a command to do. Okay, Mario, let's get going. Koops? I just realized Koops' is name backwards is Spook. Oh, golly, um, hi, hi Koopy, Koopy Koo. Did you overhear all that? Well, part of it, Koops. I thought I heard you say you're off by a hooktail. But, you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. He'll you up. 
I know, Koopy Koo, but I want to be tougher. For you. So I have to do this. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's... It's stupid. So what if you're timid? And sort of a crybaby. I don't care about all that. I just want you to be you, so don't go. Sorry, Koopy Koo, I've made up my mind. No need to worry, though. After all, I'm traveling with Mario. He's the man. Fine, ignore me! Stubborn Koopa! I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I swear to you, I will come back to you with stronger Koopa. Well, Mario, that's that, I guess. No turning back. Who tells? Castle awaits. That's true. Well, there's quite a bit going on in this battle. I only need one more star point to level up and get items, a couple Goombas, and a spiked one. Let's bring it over to there and jump. And like a little skater pose, yeah. All that stylish stuff. One thing, this right here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it drops a horse tail and a pipe I never entered right here. Let's go in and we resurface right here. I didn't go in because we couldn't do anything with it. Let's use Koops to retrieve the Happy Heart Badge. Slowing automatically restore HP during battle. Alright, let's put it in the keys. Sunstone placed in. It's, but we're putting it in a rock type. Uh, what's a rock type that evolves with the Moonstone? I can't really think of. But for some reason I remember like using Moonstone and a Graveler evolving into Golem. Or, or a G dude evolving into Graveler. Or I must have been the weirdest weirdo and have, like, a hacked version of Fire Red even though it's fully legit. <laughs> okay, 3, 2, 1, hit. Yeah. By the way, if we read that, it would say, like, archaic stuff, like, Ye who uses the keys can open the stuff and everything. But now, the pipe is open, there's nothing off to the side, no star pieces or anything of the sort. Let's enter the tiny, by comparison, Hookdale's castle is already bigger from right here. Say block and a, uh, heart block for you right there, but we can go either way, but as for now, we're just going to go down here. And it's a little bit bigger now. The bridge is broken, so why did I come down here? I have my reasons. Oh man, Hooktail Castle. The stories are all true. This place is terrifying. Yeah, we're just gonna go jump down here because there's a little something for you if we hoppity hop and hop again and coops. Grab yourself HP plus. Okay, so now let's take the upper path because there is an airplane battle. Go to the very end so we can get the most distance out of it. Yeah, we're already pretty much over the bridge. We could have surfaced on the other side, but I'm not that experienced. I don't even know if it really is physically possible unless you go to like the very edge where Mario's like pretty much hanging off. Yeah, dead bones, ain't that nice. And here we got some paratroopers, so I'll switch into Goombella so we can tattle these. There's bound to be more, so how about I get over you and he struck first, he swung first, bro. Oh well. Super guard, haha. <laughs> yeah, there's three of these guys, they're basically paragoombas, but with Koopa Troopas, yes, so they're paratroopas, or paratroopas, or flying turtles. Okay, yeah, pretty much all the same stats. Just gotta knock him down, he'll be useless. I always seem to be getting six star points in this episode for some reason. Oh boy, we got a little bit of hairy stuff right here. Let's bring out Koops because that's. I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, there's more new enemies, but we'll see them before long. Power Bounce, yay, already an awesome badge in the game. Let's uh, equip it. Power Bounce, yeah, that uses up all the. F er, BP have. I always get my stats confused. I sometimes did uh, the 64 Paper Mario and never really alleviated them. I just let them slide. Oh, oh no! These bones, they remind me of my father. There's, there's no doubt about it. It's my father. Dad! Um, wait, what's this? Mario, my father's clutching some kind of letter. Or at least his, uh, bones are. So, what should I do? Should I read it? Yeah, go ahead. There's no harm, really. Um, okay, I can do this. I, I'll read it. Ahem. <laughs> I came to this castle to destroy Hotel, but I am stuck and can go no further. So in this ladder, I shall know Hotel's weaknesses for those who follow. The dread Hotel cannot tolerate creatures that begin with Kerr and end with Ikit. Critiket? Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hotel's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hotel, one must first find the item. One last thing, if faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already, mist veils in my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who you become. Huh? 
My son, Colorado, not Coops. Oops, um, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. I don't know, maybe it is. How about we go give it a look? Looking a little red there. You clearly don't value your lives much if you come to this castle to disturb us. You will go no farther, and run this moment on. You'll be nothing but bones. Oh boy, more GameCube capability stuff. Getting pushed apart by all these. What's with these numb skulls? Haha, <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh, watch it, pushy. They're shoving me around, Mario. What should we do? I say we fight them. Kabam. Hammer my way. All the way to the red bones. Yeah. A little bit of a mini bus battle right here. Alright, so let's go and tattle the big guy, Red Bones. All the dull bones are just simple henchmen. Red Bones, a little too red. 5 HP, 3 attack. He's got some bad fashion sense. And if you bring them down to 0 HP, they can be rebuilt. So that is a little bit of a problematic thing. And, uh, can't really do much with Mario, but might as well use a normal hammer to get one of the normal ones out of the way. They can't really rebuild themselves, they just... Uh, come crumble down, but the other guys can rebuild their friends. What are you going to do? Yeah, I'm going to super guard that. Huh. Uh, it's hard to tell who's going to hit. It's like, uh, that's going for Mario, so super guard that stuff. And now we, uh, we uh, tattle on you. Tattle telling, haha. Yeah, they're just simple and stuff. And now I'm going to go the complete bad way and bring out Koops. Koops has a defense power because he is a Koopa. Uh, what you doing? Yeah, I better be careful with Mario because I'm running low on HP. Yeah, Koops, you got it. Alright, let's use Power Shell, Kaboosh, and Kablam, and Skater Stuff. Yeah, I just call it Skater Stuff because it's all skatery and stuff. Let's use Power Smash on you. Be very stylish with everything. Get so much star power out of this for using up my FP. And he became electrified. Not like it's any problem for me. And hooray! Dang, there's so much stuff going on. Yay, max out my HP! And the audience is already maxed. All of them are dull bones. Ah! Whoa, I almost messed up stuff. Now let's use a normal shell toss. I sometimes get it without having to cycle through a second time. Oh, I didn't stylish the secondary thing. <sighs> I'm just complaining about all the smallest things. Yeah, y'all disappear into the walls. There's a key behind that cage, but I can't really seem to get it. Whatever could I do? Maybe fight more of these guys. Nope. Ooh, what is this right here? That would be a shine sprite, one of the things needed for upgrading partners. Yeah. Shining objects are always nice. Uh, run away from the weird creepo weirdo thing. Alrighty, let's get things figured out. Okay, let's bring that down. I don't need to worry about any timing for stuff, actually. I could. Uh, but first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump up and jump over and get that like that, so it's all good. But what I'm going to do now is hold it out and jump on the thing because there's something for me. And Koops is in midair because he's awesome like that. Bring him over and enter the secret entryway because for you, there's a star piece. And now we have him held out for the yellow one, even though I don't need to, but there is something if I can jump my way and barely make it. Get another star piece, a rapidy poopity. And now all I gotta do is hit that like that and it's gonna flip its way to the other side. 3D in 2D, even though it's even more looking 2D, but still doing like 3D-ish kind of things. And now we use Koops to grab the castle key. So many things going on. Let's use the castle key. Enter the door. And next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we're going to continue exploring Hotel's Castle. Till then, do not touch yourself.